Okay, welcome back to Salmon and Cod Playtime. I'm so glad you're all here to join us today. Don't forget to like and subscribe this video. Today, we are going to be talking about fractions again, but we're also going to talk about time and clocks. So, in our last video, we talked about how we can take one object, one circle here, and we can break it up into any size pieces we want. As long as the piece sizes, the sizes of the pieces are all even, we can break this up any way that we want. Well, when it comes to something like time, like daytime and nighttime, we every day we have one full day of daytime, don't we? We get one full day to play. Now that one full day can be broken up into the first part of the day, which I'm going to put right here, can be broken up into the first part of the day and the second part of the day. So if our day started right here and we went all the way around when we hit the halfway point, right when we go to hit the other piece, this is like lunchtime. We start in the morning when we first wake up and we go half a day of play, play, play. And then it's lunchtime, and we eat lunch. And then our day goes all the way through the rest of the day into the evening. And then we have dinner. And after dinner, it's normally about bedtime, isn't it? And then when we go to bed, half the nighttime will pass, and then it's midnight. And then the other half of the night will pass, and it becomes morning once again. Okay? So our day, how we divide up the day on a clock, is we actually divide it into 12 pieces. Okay? There's 12 hours in one day and 12 hours in the nighttime. So we divide up our daytime into 12 pieces. Let me kind of put all these little pieces on here for you. So it's one day divided into 12 pieces. Just like we divided uh, the number one yesterday, we are dividing this number one into 12 pieces. And this is one daytime. Okay, we're going to start with our, when we wake up in the morning down here. And the clock's going to go all the way around the clock till we hit noon time. When we hit noon, when we're when the hands of the clock are on the number 12, that means it's lunch time. It's time to eat. And then the hands of the clock are going to go all the way around until they get all the way to about the 6. And that means it's about time to eat dinner. And it's about time to start getting ready for bed very soon. Be our bedtime starts up in here, okay? We'll sleep all the way through the night. And when we've gone all the way around the circle again, it'll be daytime. It's like a circle. It just kind of keeps, keeps spinning. But we break our day into 12 pieces, okay? Into 12 nice little pieces. So let's come over here and let's actually look at our clock. I've got a clock right here that we can look at, okay? Six o'clock right here is normally about the time when the sun starts to come up in the morning. And it goes six to seven. I'm normally pretty sleepy around seven o'clock. Then eight o'clock. By nine o'clock, I'm ready to play. I'm already in play mode and I'm playing with toys. I'm doing learning. I'm doing all sorts of good things. Then 10 o'clock. 11 o'clock and at noon this 12 we call noon and at noon time this is when we eat our lunch this is the midway point of our day our day started down here at the 6 and went all the way around and now that we've hit noon it's lunch time half our day is gone the morning half of our day happens right here this is all the morning time once we hit 12 o'clock our afternoon starts and then we've got 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock. This is when it's the most sunniest outside, when it's nice and sunny and it's time to play. Then 4 o'clock, 5 o'clock, at 6 o'clock, it's about dinner time. And things start getting a little, a little less light outside. And then they get a little darker 
and a little darker. And then it's very dark. It's time for bed. And at night, it stays dark. It stays dark. And then we hit midnight. 12 o'clock midnight is the middle of the night. That's when everything's at its darkest and the stars shine the brightest, okay? That's the middle of the night. Just like it was the middle of the day, it's also the middle of the night. Now comes 1 o'clock in the morning, 2 o'clock in the morning. I'm not awake during this time. I'm very sleepy. I'm very fast asleep, all cuddled warm in my bed with my pillows and my teddy bears. 3 o'clock, it's still dark outside. 4 o'clock, still dark. 5 o'clock, might start to get a little, you might barely think it's starting to get a little lighter, but at 6 o'clock, that's when it starts to get lighter and daytime starts to happen again. This is where we have sunrise and when the sun starts coming up over the horizon to start the day. When it hits 6 o'clock, nighttime's over. Daytime is just starting. So let's go over this again. There's 12 hours in a day, it starts at the 6, and it goes, the sun starts to rise and rise, and by 9, the sun is fully up, and the day can start, 9's a good time to have breakfast, by the way, 9 is when your day can fully start, it gets sunnier and sunnier, and at 12, the morning half of the day, this is the morning half, okay, like if I could break the day up into two pieces, two pieces right here, this over here would be the morning side. This would be the afternoon side. The hotter part of the day, the afternoon. This is everything that happens in the morning. Once you hit the 12, it's everything that happens in the afternoon. Okay? And then once we hit the 6, everything starts getting darker because nighttime starts to happen. Okay? And then up here it's full nighttime. Then it goes all through the night and it starts getting a little brighter, brighter, and then poof, 6 o'clock, morning starts again. Okay, did you kind of follow that? I hope you kind of followed that with me, that we kind of go around the clock in a circle, and this is how the sun rises in the morning, how it's here all afternoon, but then the sun sets once again over here, and then it's dark all night long. 12 hours in the day, here's our number 12, 12 hours in the day, 12 hours at night, okay? That's how our world works, and it's really, really fun and really cool to look at, all right? Well, those were the hours of the day. What we just talked about were the hours of the day, and on the clock, there's going to be two little hands that point to things. The littlest hand on the clock, this little hand, see how it's littler than this one? The little hand on the clock will always tell you the hour, okay? It goes around and it points to what hour it is. Let's practice that real quick. I'm going to kind of tilt this so you can see it maybe just a little better. If this hour was pointing straight up to 12, it would be 12 noon or 12 at midnight if it was nighttime. But for now, let's just say it's daytime, okay? This was pointing straight up at the 12. Half our day is over. We've gone half our day in the morning, but we still have a whole half of a day to play. Look how many great hours we have to play. We have six more hours of play time. Well, this number 12 right here, if it's on the 12, that means it's 12 o'clock. Now, if it's in between the 12 and the 1, it's still 12 o'clock because it has to move all the way to the 1 before it becomes 1 o'clock. Did you follow that? From the 12, it starts here at the 12, and then it goes all the way to the 1. But all this space in between still means it's 12 o'clock. It has to move to the 1 for it to be 1 o'clock. The afternoon at 1 o'clock, that sun is up, and it's a good time to play. Now from 1 o'clock... In the afternoon, it's going to go all the way to the 2, and all this space in between is still the 1 o'clock hour. Still the 1 o'clock hour. It's not 2 o'clock until it's fully pointing to the 2. Once it's fully pointing to the 2, it's 2 o'clock in the afternoon. What a sunny, wonderful time. Maybe you can go pick flowers at this time. That sounds fun to me. 
All right, now all the space between this 2 and this 3 means it's still 2 o'clock. Still 2 o'clock all the way until it moves to where it's completely pointing to the 3. Then it's 3 o'clock. You kind of follow how that works? We can go all the way around the clock. Let's put this little hour hand halfway between the 6 and the 7. Do you know what time it would be if it was halfway between the 6 and the 7? Well, it was 6 o'clock. And it's moving, it's getting to 7 o'clock, but it's not quite there yet. If it's halfway in between, it's still 6 o'clock. It's moving to the 7 o'clock, it's just not there yet. It's going to take some time. So if it's halfway in between the 6 and the 7, it's still 6 o'clock. It's moving towards 7, but it's not quite there yet. What if I had it over here between my 8 and my 9? That means it's still 8 o'clock. But it's almost 9 o'clock. It's not quite there yet, but it's almost 9 o'clock. 9 o'clock in the morning is a good time to have breakfast. But 9 o'clock at night is a good time to go to bed. <laughs> that is bedtime. All right. I hope you all enjoyed, and I hope this explained. Tomorrow we will come back and we'll talk about minutes and what minutes mean. Today we just talked about the hour, but tomorrow we'll do minutes. All right. Thank you for playing with us. I'm so glad you came to play with us. We are Salmon and Cod Playtime, and we hope to see you again. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye, everyone.